So here we are in the winter trying to grow some tropical milkweed seeds. Um, it's very cold outside. As you can see, the snow's been on the ground for three days. Here are some tuberosa seedlings. And here are the plants that came from outside. And we'll look at them, uh, some earlier pictures of these uh, tropical milkweed plants. There's about five plants in three pots. So these plants started naturally outside and by June 1st there were no plants. So by August 28th they had grown this tall and there were no flowers. By September 25th there were some flowers but definitely no pods. So they were potted and brought in the house and this is where they are on uh, December 21st. Now this is a buddleia or butterfly bush and I'm always amazed to see how well they stand up to the cold weather. So this one is doing it. So we'll walk by some Christmas decorations here and um, we'll take a look at the tuberosa bed which is a raised bed against the brick on the house to keep it as warm as possible. And um, you can see that the Belgian block is melted melting the snow at least and then we'll come to another buddleia which is also amazingly doing well in the cold weather and then we'll walk a little ways down to the burning bush which has um, some seed for the birds to eat so there's a lot of bird activity there um, And then we'll walk over to what is going to become the Island of Galactic Nectar. So this is where all the nectar plants are going to be grouped together to separate them from the milkweed plants that are going to be used for to feed, feed the caterpillars. So here's some sedum seeds that are remaining which are always good for the birds. So I relocated uh, the other three sister plants to the back 40, if you will. And um, of course those are looking fairly dead. And I was curious to see if the roots would stay alive over the winter and uh, see if they would grow back next year. So here are the Andromeda and they seem to be doing very well. We have St. John's wort, which has a few green leaves and a lot of seeds and a fairly large bush. We have some holly making some berries. And then we have a couple little plants that are fairly hardy that I'm not sure exactly what they are. And here we have some forsythia that uh, bloomed. Uh, I guess November, December was fairly warm, so it actually bloomed before the snow. And then here we have another buddleia butterfly bush, which is doing fairly well. And next to it, there is a elderberry with a few leaves on it, which I wasn't expecting. Here's an interesting find. These are uh, praying mantis uh, cocoons, and I usually remove them immediately as soon as I find one. 
But I noticed the birds seem to be picking at it. So that might be a, a good way to recycle praying mantises. So here we are trying to sprout some old seed. We have some tuberosa seed from 2016 that I thought would never sprout, but of course it all sprouted. So now what to do with all that tuberosa? Um, then I took some of the tuberosa seeds and put them in pure water and let them completely come out of the seed coat and then plant them. Here is some tuberosa seed that sprouted and uh, I put it in sand and of course sand maybe too much it tends to pull the seed out of the sand and here's some old seed from 2017 I did get one to sprout so I thought maybe I'll try the others here's some other old seed that uh, hasn't done anything yet here's some uh, tropical milkweed seed that uh, I thought was dead but apparently I got 30 sprouts out of out of that batch so that wasn't too bad and um, Sometimes I like to use those uh, glass plates and just kind of water around, let the water soak in so you don't disturb the seeds as they are trying to be sprouted and yet you can see what's going on. So the next step is to try to hand pollinate these tropical milkweeds and we'll see if I'm able to do that. So stay tuned.